He grew up in the 30s and 40s, and it was very tough times for black people, and he couldn't afford a middle name. <laughs> Blake, we are back again to do another Would I Lie to You? And we're this dedicated to the channel because it is about nine o'clock on Christmas Eve and we're here recording <laughs> because we love doing this stuff. We've got a new player in the game. It is Reginald D. Hunter. Have you heard of this person before? No, but this dude looks awesome. I've seen him a few times. I've seen his stand up over the years. I haven't seen a lot of him, but what I have seen of him, he's just a, he's just a cool cat that's very, very funny as well. So I'm keen to check out this clip that we've been uh, suggested to by one of our subscribers. Yeah, very cool. So he's an American on an English game show. Yeah, I'm, I'm keen to see how like their comedy blends together. I don't know if he uh, lives in a, in the UK or if he's just over there touring perhaps and he's a part of the show. That I couldn't tell you, but uh, this is Reginald D. Hunter in Would I Lie to You. The D in my name stands for delicious. <laughs> Obviously, why? Well, it was the late 60s when I was born, 1969. There are a lot of uh, black men my age around that time being given names like Reginald and Winston and Delicious because... <laughs> because uh, at that time in America, affirmative action had just started. I love how it's just serious. Completely cool, calm, and collected he is throughout that. Just like, and, and delicious, no worries. <laughs> like, this is just a casual story. He's just telling it a barbecue one day. It's like, well, you know, it's... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. So black women saw an opportunity for their children to get more jobs. So what they did was, we we'll give him a name that will enable him to be, you know, recognizable yet dignified to potential employers. And... <laughs> And delicious is dignified. Well, I mean, like, you have to understand how th it's, li it's a little different in the black community than it is in your white world. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, like the name delicious commands great respect in the, in the ghetto. Uh, <laughs> oh, jeez. I, I hope it does. I, I love how he's so, he's so confidently saying this. And it's like... It's definitely not true. You can also see in their faces like they kind of don't want to question him at the same time. <laughs> just everyone is on their toes and he is just... just and he's loving it. Just he's absolutely peacock loving peacock walking around. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Right. <laughs> cool. Here we go. You, uh, you, you probably don't listen to much rap music, do you, Fern? <laughs> Uh, then, uh, there's, uh, MC Delicious, uh, um, Big Papa Delicious. French Golden. <laughs> Where did Reginald come from? Uh, Reginald is a German name. It means mighty or wise power. And, um, uh, delicious means, uh, very tasty. <laughs> I uh, just saying it again. I love his delivery. It's, it's so just so good. so deadpan. But it's so funny. Like, look how much even all the other comedians just like we're in, we're in for a tough time tonight. <laughs> what was your father's name? My father's name is Homer. And what was his middle bit? He didn't have a middle name. No. Um, uh, he grew up in the 30s and 40s, and it was very tough times for black people, and he couldn't afford a middle name. <laughs> and do you have brothers and sisters? I do indeed. And what are their names? Um, well, there's, there's Brenda, there's Kathy, there's Oliver, um, there's Scrumptious. Um, <laughs> uh, I was waiting for that. I don't think people would have thought that calling you delicious would help you get jobs, except, except as a food. <laughs> well, I think, shall we say it's a lie? I yeah. think that's what we're yeah. going to feel stupid, I'd be happy but it's true. That. So you're saying it's a lie? Yeah. Blake, I'm just going to pause it there. What's your verdict? Is it, is it a truth or is it a lie? Well, like, I, so much of me just wants to say it's true. Like, and I hope to <laughs> God it is. It can't be, but I'm going to say please be true. All right, you're going to go with please be true. Yeah. Uh, like, I think it's, 
is clearly a liar and he just had a great time telling that story and just was just making up jokes along the way so it's most likely not going to be true but um a great story like i i don't think i've ever seen him on this show before so i'd love to know if this was the only time he's been on it or if he's been on it a few times and if he has what are some other good segments of his because um he's great like and i love it like his his kind of comedy works so well in this show as well like it really syncs well together with the other guys yeah i loved that it shakes everything up such a nice way Yes. Okay, Reg, is it uh, the truth or is it a lie? It is a lie. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> no surprise. Yeah, no surprise. So what does the D stand for in your name? What does the D stand for in my name? Here we go. None of your business. <laughs> <laughs> the D in Reg's name does not stand for delicious. I did once meet a person called Delicious, but uh, not sure it was her real name, uh, or if the other girl was really her sister, or if either of them were actually qualified nurses. <laughs> but uh, I will say, if you are watching Delicious, uh, could I please have my wallet back? <laughs> There's never been a time where Rob's joke at the end has been anywhere near as funny as the story that we've just watched. No, that was... It's always like a little sour note of like, Rob, come on. That, that was actually cringy in comparison. <laughs> Shouldn't have just, just let that one go. <laughs> I was expecting him to say that the D stands for something even more ridiculous, but I just love the whole, like, none of your business. <laughs> I, 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 it would have been great if he was like, do not ask or something like that. <laughs> yeah. But that's great. <laughs> Reginald, do not ask Hunter. <laughs> a delicious stands for very tasty. <laughs> no, that that was really good. Uh, great suggestion, yes. guys. Thank you very much for that one. Very keen to check out any more of his stuff. Even if he's been on other shows as well, let us know what the best segments of him is available online and we'll be sure to take a look. Uh, thank you very much for that suggestion, guys. If you have any more suggestions, chuck them in that comment section below. And if you want to have a look at more Would I Lie To You clips, check out this playlist just here for an ever-growing list. Merry Christmas to you all, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Merry Christmas, guys.